Hi, my name is Bob Menneker, Training Manager at e and and I would like to spend a few minutes talking about S7 Semantic Manager, the programming and configuration software for the Siemens S7 300 and 400 PLCs. The Semantic Manager is made up of a series of applications where each does a specific job within the scope of programming and automation task. S7 is not just a programming package for an individual PLC, but rather a project management tool from within one central place you can manage all of the hardware and software of your entire control system including PLCs, HMIs, and drives. Data is stored in a project in the form of objects which are arranged in a tree structure. The blocks folder contains the code stored in program blocks that control the device. Put all of the code for a PLC in OB1, your main programming scan, or divide your process into smaller tasks or subroutines where each task is called from OB1. S7 consists of general help that can be accessed from the help menu as well as context sensitive help that using the F1 key you can access help specific to the selected object. Now let's look at the actual software. Now we're looking at the hardware configuration tool which is where we have to tell the system what slot contains what modules and then download that hardware configuration to the CPU. I had left slot 6 empty to show you how easy it is to not only put a module in the proper slot but also to configure the properties of that module. In this case from the right hand tree I have selected the analog module that is going to be sitting in slot 6 and if I just double click that guy with the slot selected it places the module in the slot as well as below it give me more information concerning that module such as the input output addresses order number as well as a small description if I double click on the module I have a general tab as well as an address tab from the address tab I can select whether to use the system default this checkbox or I can uncheck that box and change that address to anything I want. In this example I'm changing my default for my inputs, my analog input starting address from system default to 302 where I'm using the system default for the outputs. I accept that by clicking OK and it changed that address here and now I can save and download this configuration to the CPU. I can also change the properties of any one of the modules. As you can see here I have a slave Profibus DP drop hanging off of my master system where I can drag other devices that can communicate to the PLC via Profibus DP. A powerful feature of the Siemens PLCs is the ability to program my application in one of three languages. There's ladder logic, there's statement list and there's function block diagram. Here's an example where I have some ladder logic code and some statementless code and the nice thing about this is that I can mix that and match that code. I have a particular function here that's kind of like a subroutine that's doing a particular routine and I can mix and match that code. What I can also do, as you can see here, I have some ladder logic, but if I want to, I can go to view and view that in statement list, and now I'm looking at what that ladder logic code would look like if it was programmed in statement list, and I can go back to view and then put it back in the way I programmed it. So a very powerful feature is the ability to program these routines by mixing and matching my code and viewing my, lang my code in different languages. So I program in ladder, I can view it in statement list, and vice versa. Unleash the power of your Siemens PLCs by coming to e and Training for a Siemens PLC Programming 1 and 2 class. For more information and to register online, contact us at enm.com or training at enm.com. Thank you.